Ah yes, it's time for 2CTV to once again expose the BBC, the British Bashing Corporation. Yes, in this video we're going to give you another expose about a senior BBC employee for being not just against Jewish people, but also against white people. Yeah, ever since the 7th of October happened, uh, we've had the BBC obviously being exposed on a regular basis. They're biased against uh, not just Israel, but Jewish people and of course the, the British society in general. Uh, but it actually goes to the individuals who work at the BBC, but also the, the mentality of the whole culture of this so-called corporation. Now, this is about Dawn Cuevas, who says supposed to be one of the senior employees at the BBC. Of course, uh, what happens when you start hiring people based on identity politics and diversity? Oh yes, absolute chaos. And obviously competency would go out in TED. We're going to have diversity and cultural enrichment. Well, let's see what Dawn has been talking about. Well, on the 13th of January, she said, Subcontinental European Caucasian invader colonizer species. Oh, wow, that's a lot of words with zero indigenous blood <laughs> on their maternal or paternal side. Just a bunch of thieving squatters from a landmass north of the Mediterranean. Wow, okay. To be Jewish, as Dawn says, uh, with the I, S, H, and capital letters, is to practice a religion loosely based on a Hebraic faith. Okay. To be Jewish has zero to do with ethnicity. Okay. A chef fighter cannot be a Shemite. Oh, here we go again. They descend from a different bloodlines. And then she continues saying, oh, they're blah, blah, blah. And of course, a bit of a rant about uh, those who say they are Jew but are of the synagogue of Satan. Um, I mean, the gist of it was essentially, apart from the, the rant against the group of people, was the fact that she's claiming, again, that there was, uh, she's implying there was a country called Palestine, and the Palestinians were always there. Yeah, it wasn't the Ottoman Empire who brought them from other places last minute. Uh, but also, there was no such thing as a Jewish land in the past. Yeah, all the kingdom and Israel, the Israelites, didn't exist. So these people don't, don't, don't have to be there. What? This is another post on the 12th of January. 26 million Russians also lost their lives in the Second World War. True. 27 actually, by the way. Dawn, do your homework. Uh, but all we have, uh, all we hear about, oh, wait, uh, can you just pay attention to this post, by the way? She works at the BBC. Look at the first sentence. Look at the, f the word here. How is it spelled? H-E-R-E. -E. Yes, she works at the BBC. Uh, but all we hear about, oh wow, and made never to forget, are the Jewish, um, what was it, six million? Never mind uh, that Rothschild funded their own, oh, holo hoax, as uh, Dawn says, instead of obviously um, Holocaust. Um, and never mind that these uh, same Jewish were the ones buying and selling those uh, who kidnapped from Africa. Africa people trafficking. Wow, okay. Um, anyway, she could say they're talking about uh, genocide and all that stuff against Palestinians. And then she says, you got to know who owned the global press when all you hear again here is misspelled about is these uh, anti-Semitic subcontinental blah, blah, blah. You know, the funny thing is that when people like Dawn complain about the, the international press and media being basically controlled by the Jews, right? And she, she works at the BBC. So the issue with that is that these people do not know how to differentiate between the Western Jews and the Israelis. <laughs> Have you not noticed how many people, how many times, certain people who happen to be Jewish or Christian or whatever they are in the West worked against the interests of Jewish people in Israel? There have been people who happen to be Jewish in the West, in Hollywood and other places, and yes, the newspapers and the media, who worked against the interests of Israel. It's been going on at least since the 60s and 70s. It's nothing new. But again, this is exactly why we've had a number of protests in, in terms of Jewish protests and pro-Israeli protests outside the BBC building. And we were there, TCTV, to report it for you guys. Because the whole thing is nonsensical. The BBC is completely crazy. So, number one, Jewish staff at the BBC were banned from uh, supporting uh, obviously the march against anti-Semitism. Yeah, literally. The BBC refused to call uh, the Islamists in Gaza, Hamas, uh, what they are, which is a terrorist organization. And the BBC present, presenter and host called for Israel to be banned from football, international football. So are we surprised that we have people like Dawn working for the BBC? The BBC welcomed them. 
This is the same mentality. Now the BBC could release a statement saying, yes, we do not uh, tolerate anti-Semitism, blah, 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 blah. Really? You kidding me with that? <laughs> anyway, we'll keep you guys posted. It doesn't matter. TV is dead because we are the media.